I got this question the other day asking one of my videos asking me should we take a number theory class or should we just solve problems on the online judge can you suggest a textbook refer for number theory as we haven't taken any of these in the grades good question good question to ask in my opinion from my point of view from how i'm looking at things i don't think you need to take a number theory class I personally do not think you need to take one. And the reason why is because I have taken a number theory class in college because I am currently in college, right? And in college, in your basic number theory class, right, they normally teach you proving a bunch of numbers, like proving different theorems, maybe Euler's theorem, stuff like that, maybe a rose and then some primality tests, something like that. But generally, in a number theory course, you're proving theorems, right? Personally, I don't think that will 100% help you, may or may not necessarily help you when you solve these problems, okay? Because in my opinion, in my point of view, after taking gotten an A in number theory class, and I could show you guys it, but then I would have to blur out the images, but in my opinion... I don't think a number theory class would help you in competitive programming. So what would what should you do if you want to do well in competitive programming? Well, one thing it is is that if you go on code drills and you just solve problems, you type in your handle, which so code drills is like a recommended recommender code drills io, and you type in your handle. And uh, one of my biggest problems actually is number theory, but um, basically you could just Go to the weak areas, which is one of your number theory, which here we click on number theory, and we just solve these problems, right? So you just go in here and just grind these problems. So at any time, uh, you'll, sooner or later, you'll find figure out a pattern. Because most of these, if we want to get better at certain problem sets on code forces, like if you want to increase your rank on code forces, then do more code forces problems, right? It doesn't really make much sense to, in, in, to me, personally. I, I don't think it would make more sense to you know, read a number theory book and then not do any, solve any problems then come back. And then, yeah, you're just not going to gain any new, new skill. So, and personally, in my, from my point of view, I think, I think personally that if you just do solve a bunch of number theory problems on code forces or even in better, there's another one that's strictly for number theory, but it's called project Euler. Um, yeah, Project Euler uh, problem archives. A lot of these problems on Project Euler are just all number theory problems. And um, I, I, I like look, the first first 50 are definitely number theory problems, right? So um, yeah, if you just go through Project Euler and then just, um, if, you, if you, yeah, even this, this is a goal, goal back conjecture. But uh, yeah, if you just go through, um, if you just go through Project Euler or you just solve problems on code forces. Like personally, I want to get better at code forces. So if you just solve problems on code forces involving number theory, you're going to get better. I mean, and if you just solve problems on Project Euler, you'll probably get very good at number theory sooner or later. So you would you would understand like the number theory, like uh, GCD, LCM, all this stuff, different co uh, conjectures, and that will definitely help you when you solve problems on code forces. But but if you personally want to get better at code forces, it's actually just better to solve code forces problems, right? Because like, I mean, it's a direct application. Like if you want to get better at driving, you should just get better at driving by driving, right? It does it like, or get, if you want to get better at tennis, just play tennis, right? Otherwise, if you just go out there and just watch a bunch of tennis videos, sure, it might help, but it may not actually make you better at playing tennis. So yeah, that's just my point of view. That's my point of view. I don't think you need to take a number theory class. There, there are high schoolers who are who have way better than me at competitive programming. And they are, they've never taken a number theory class, but they just know all the theorems by learning along their way, go looking at the code, looking at editorials. They learn along the way after they do a ton of problems. And that's what makes them get better. But yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. I could, if you ask me any question, just hit me a comment, or you could send me a, a, a message on Instagram or on uh, YouTube inbox. 
anything if you have a comment or question anything rate comment subscribe um i might start doing more problems on spodge actually because um i don't know i feel like i didn't finish that series uh hold up let me see if i didn't f finish that series yeah but yeah, i might i might start doing problem sets on those so yeah uh i'll probably f try to finish all 100 problems sooner or later on spodge and then later on we'll get better at uh other types of problems but yeah rate comment subscribe i'll check you guys later peace stay safe